All right, I'm back like cook crack. Nah, let me just stop. But I really am what the game's been missing. Shout out to Jewels. Love me some Jewels back in the day. Some of y'all mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, was listening to Jewel Santana, Dipset, okay? Harlem World in the building, okay? Some of y'all might have been in Harlem, who knows? But let's get my mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. If you missed your sign, those readings should be uploaded already on my Instagram. So what is the 411 with my Gemini placement spirit? What is going on with them? You guys could be redecorating your home. You guys could be just in your motherly energy. You could be, you know, making sure your hair is done, nails done, everything did. Uh, a lot of you guys could be just conversing with your mom. You could be spending time at home with your mom at your place or hers. Um, I really feel too like you're in the energy of sitting back and receiving at this time. Hey, love, or you are learning to do so. Okay, for some of you, you are going to get information um, that you've been looking for. So if you've been looking for your mother, you're going to find her. If your mother's been looking for you, she's going to find you. There's some type of information about your mom associated with your mother or with your children, and you've been looking for something, you're going to find it. Whatever you've been looking for, you're going to find it. It's going to come... The information is going to come via text, phone call, email, DM. Some of you may want to have a conversation with your mom about... Maybe you're looking for your birth certificate. Maybe you can't find your birth certificate. Maybe your kids can't find their birth certificate. They're calling you, asking you for it. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo female, too, at that. This could be the mother of your children. I don't know why you would be looking for them. I don't know. Maybe they blocked you because you've been playing games. I have no idea. Either way, there is something coming to an end. You've come to a conclusion about something, Gemini. Um... Gemini, if you're a male and you were dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo female, or this could be the mother of your children, or this could be your wife, they done snoop through your phone. <coughs> they don't let me talk. They done snoop through your phone, found out about another female that could be a possible air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, and she's about to hit the fan. So your secret's about to be revealed about how immature you are. For others of you, did your little brother run away? I don't know if your brother went MIA or your brother's not acting like themselves. Like, your mom could be hitting you up, asking you about, like, what's going on with your brother? Has your brother spoken to you lately? Has he shared any information with you lately? Because I feel like your brother's not acting like themselves. Something could have went on in the house that you're unaware of, Gemini, with one of your siblings. And it's like... Something that came to an end. I don't even want to say what I was about to say, but knock on wood on that thought. I hope. Yeah, I ain't even gonna talk about that. But anyway, Gemini, for others of you, some secrets is gonna be revealed. Your text messages is about to be revealed. Somebody done snooped through something. Somebody found out somebody's secrets. You done went through somebody's phone. Um, the truth is being exposed. Just know that. There could be two women involved or two men involved. Earth sign, air sign. Or this person could literally be just like, 
they work for the government somehow, some way, military, officer, firefighter, whatever. Um, there could be a choice between two people. Two people is over here finding out about each other. You've been trying to keep it on the low, dating multiple people without them knowing type of energy. And it's like, nope, you're being exposed. Or the person that you're dealing with is being exposed. Um, that's going to allow you to make the decision to just continue to go on. Yeah, you're going to focus on you because... Some of you are literally going to continue... You're going to come to the conclusion like, you know what? I'm just going to continue dating, okay? I'm going to continue to have my options since you want to have options. Maybe you guys put all your eggs in one basket with one person and if you're single, I done told you guys not to be putting all your eggs in one basket. Because best believe they're dating other people too. Shit, a lot of y'all people, y'all asses be in relationships and still be getting fucked and recycled. Okay? So it's like, you're deciding, especially if you're a female Gemini, that you are going to continue to just date. You, some of you are just seeing it is what it is. Okay? Um... You're leaving this person because they put you in a third party situation and you're moving on. And by you moving on, you are going to um, get good luck while this person continues to deal with their vices. Okay? You are going to end up getting what it is that you want by walking away from someone that had you in a third party situation or thought that they could play games with you. Whether you're male or female. Okay? Um, for others of you, you may find out secrets about your mom or about your childhood or about what she was going through when she was pregnant with you or your child may find things out about you about what you had to go through you may be telling them things that they never knew before because like they're no longer a child anymore they're coming of age where you can tell the truth to them some of you may have a nine-year-old where they are going through puberty right now and it's like they're starting to keep secrets from you. They're starting to, you know, hide things from you. And it's like you need to open up communication with them about things, about yourself, um, and let them feel like, you know, you're sharing secrets with them because then it'll make them comfortable sharing their secrets with you type of energy. This could be even like a younger sibling or a niece or a nephew, okay? But there's something going on that is hidden, and it could definitely pertain a teenager or a tween. Some of you are about to be really brutally honest with a person, telling them exactly what it is and what it ain't, whether they like it or not. It's something that needs to be said, something that needs to be heard. Okay. Your mom could have been keeping from you the fact that your brother has been going through some things. And you're like, why haven't you told me that? Like, that's my brother. Like, I want to be there for my brother. Or I want to be there for my sibling. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you tell me? Type of energy. But let's go, Virgo. Virgo placements. What is the 411 with you? Virgo, you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with the energy of relocating, uh, wanting to move, uh, focusing on healing, balancing out the masculine and fem feminine energies within yourself. What else is going on with Virgo spirit? You could be healing from something. Some of you guys could be moving to walk closer to your if you're a male you could be moving closer to your daughter okay for others of you you could be healing the your inner child at this time you could be caring for your daughter things is moving forward after a period of things being very stagnant in your life if you're waiting for like an application for something, something is going to go through. Some of you, you may be applying for schools, like private schools or something for your child. 
This could also be approval for like medication for your child. It's finally coming through. Some of you may have had a chop, a chop, a, a toxic childhood where your parents probably fought and argued all the time. You're healing from that. You may have difficulties with your child, especially you may have a child that has temper tantrums or you were a child that had temper, temper tantrums from the eight up until the age of five, up until the age of seven. Okay. Or you just have a child that, you know, they may have behavioral issues, but I feel like for some of you, the reason why your child has these behavior, behavioral issues is because of something that was going on in their environment. Loud speaking triggers your child. Um, arguing and fighting triggers your child. Just low vibrational energy in the home or school or wherever they are, um, it triggers them. They get overly stimulated by these things. Some of them, they may may have a speech impediment. DM me about that or email me at the Honest Home Girl. I have a, a detox bath for... For the, for the babies that may have a speech impediment or delays, it'll help cleanse out the heavy metals within them to help them to, you know, some of you guys, it's like, you're going to start seeing a change in your child by the time the age of seven happens. So if you we're thinking to heavily medicate them don't do that because that's gonna be worse it's like they'll become a zombie you need to find outlets for them find different things get them into different hobbies see what it is that they gravitate towards see what it is that they truly like like with me being a daycare provider i used to sit there and have these crystals on my desk not realizing that my daycare babies were sneaking, climbing on my chair to get to my crystals, but not knowing that, because I had some a, a few kids that were were considered considered autistic, right? But and I used to have a Himalayan salt lamp in the daycare, and it was like it kept them calm. One of my daycare babies literally would take a nap for five minutes, and he would be up like a light, like he never took a nap. But I used to sit there and put crystals underneath his bed and like a rose quartz crystal and a black tourmaline crystal and a cellulite crystal you may want to get crystals for your children to play with not the small ones but big ones ones that they can't choke on okay um to play with to calm them down do not get them little crystals like this they can choke on them get them big ones that look like big rocks that they can hold or play with or whatever the case may be okay because i feel like there's a lot of toxicity around your child and they're just they don't know how to verbally tell you what's wrong with them. And it's like you over here saying that like they're a bad child and they're not a bad child. It's what you're putting them around and having them around. They're imitating what's going on. Like some of them, I literally see them at school fighting and arguing with the kids in school because you're showing them that at home. You have them around people that's always fighting and arguing. They don't know how to communicate. So when they go to school, they're learning communication from home first and then that's how they're expressing themselves in school. And this is why they're getting in trouble. The kid is not a bad kid. It's the parents. For some of you, this is this has happened to you as a kid growing up. You had to deal with a lot of toxicity around the age of five, the age of seven. And it's like you're healing from that. You're learning. And finally, now, at the age of 57, at the age uh, of seven you or five, you had learned how to finally learn how to communicate correctly. Some of you it took to the age of 12 for you to learn that or to get out of an environment. I feel like now you or you could have had been dealing with someone that you may have had a child with someone that was very toxic, somebody that was very low vibrational. And it's like you're finally move, being able to move away from them. You're finally able to level up. You're finally trying to, you know, it was a struggle or it is a struggle with whoever you have children with. But it's like. You're going to eventually be able to get over this hump. But it's like you have to move away from it. Like you have to leave from a situation. You can't stay in it. If you are being abused in any way, shape, or form, misused in any way, shape, or form, it's like you, 
You gotta go. You gotta go. Because it's like spirit is clearing the way for you to remove yourself from this toxicity. And it's like, are you going to stay or are you going to go? Because at one point you were stuck, but you're not stuck anymore. You have a choice now. Sagittarius, what's the 411 with you? I'm hearing you can say no. It's time for you to fight for your battles. You have to stand up for yourself, believe in yourself, love yourself for it all. This could be for you too, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you guys are healing from your past, okay? You're healing from past traumas, past relationships, past events that may have broken your heart or disappointment. Betrayal, I'm hearing too. Some of you are healing from addictions, whether they're food addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, sex addictions. You are at a point where you are having to make a choice. Are you going to continue on that hamster wheel or are you going to change? You could be getting tempted at some point in time. And that is a test for you to sit there and choose to keep moving forward, choose to heal. Um, some of you, you could be healing from a Capricorn and having to decide not to get back into a toxic relationship with this Capricorn here. I feel like there's a lot of lustful energy here. This person may have great sex, but it's like, you know that this person is toxic. They don't have to be a Capricorn. This person could just be someone that may make a lot of money too. But it's like, just because they make a lot of money doesn't mean that they're worth your time. They're worth, you know your energy because i'm seeing like a vampire like they are an energy vampire it's like when you have sex with them they suck your your energy out of you and you be thinking oh you just had some great sex and they just put you to sleep but literally they literally took your essence away from you and people don't realize that you be asking somebody to put you to sleep no they're taking your light from you. They're taking your essence away from you. They're taking away the high vibrational frequency that you have so that they can continue to move on and do whatever it is that they do. People be talking about, oh, I want to have my back blown out. Little do you know, you over there getting your chakras blown the fuck out. Like, and then you want to know why you feel the way that you feel a week later. Because every, women have to understand your wounds are a healing center. Men ejaculate in you to heal. They pour out their their sperm into you, and guess what? All their sorrows, all their worries, all their fears, all their mishaps, all of that is in you now. And now you're carrying it. Mm -mm. High vibrational DMP for now on. Okay? If it's too good to be true, sometimes it might be you over here having sex with a damn demon, and they know that you're... <laughs> They know exactly what to do to get you caught up in they in they in they cycle. What's that song by? What's it? I wanted to say Tucci, but his name is Tucci Tucci something with a T. And I think he got a song talking about love cycle or something. You got me caught up in your love cycle. I don't know. This could also be the mother of your children. Okay. Some of you have to make a decision about a female in your life. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, female, or this is the mother of your children you have to make a decision about, or this is a decision that you got to make about your mother. Some of you are making a decision on if you want to be a mother. Some of you could have gotten pregnant by this person due to lustful energy, and now you're having to decide if you're going to keep this child or not. If you do keep this child, you will be having a girl. Some of you already have a girl with this with this person here. I feel like the devil is coming back to test you. Some of you, you have an addiction to food. Can't stop eating. And it's like you love it. You love food so much. But guess what? Your demon is food. 
someone another Sagittarius your demon is drugs another Sagittarius your demon is alcohol another Sagittarius your demon is smoking another Sagittarius your demon is, is, is shopping some of you have multiple but it's like you have to a, a decision to make are you going to start loving yourself because everything that you're obsessed with everything that you can't stop doing it stems down from you not nurturing and loving yourself um and when you get triggered, this is when you overeat, you overspend, you overdo drugs, you overdo a lot of things. When you start feeling like you're not loved, you you have and you start having a low self esteem again. You you decide to, you you have a decision to make to continue doing what you used to do or start loving on yourself and telling yourself positive affirmations and you know letting yourself know like everything's gonna be okay. Um, some of you guys, you may have, um, a child with a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo male, or you will be having a child with this person. Some of you, you're dealing with someone that like, if you don't deal with them, they're not going to take care of their child type of energy. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, if you have a daughter, the mother, the father or the mother of your child is like, oh, if you don't deal with me, you can't see your child. And you don't have to have a daughter. You got a son, too. Either way, take it how it resonates. But it's more so of, if you don't deal with me, it's like they use their child against you as a weapon or something. Or you may do this. I hope you're not doing this. Some of you have a decision to make when it comes to one of your children, especially a daughter. There's something that your daughter may be passionate about, something that she may want to do, and you have to decide if you're going to allow her to do it. Or you may have, there's something you're passionate about, and it's like you have to get permission to do something. Some of you, too, you may have been told by the doctor that you can't eat something anymore. You can't do something anymore. And you feel like you're being treated like a child, but it's for your best good. It's for your highest good. It's part of your healing journey. Pisces, last but not least. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All other signs are already uploaded. Um, and I will be uploading my mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces right after this reading. So if you have Pisces placements, this is for you. Pisces, I feel like you're utilizing your gifts, you're manifesting at this time. I feel like you're manifesting more stability and security in your life when it comes to every aspect of your life. But what is the 411 with Pisces? Pisces. Yeah, you guys are manifesting. Some of you could be doing candle magic or you're just, you know, visualizing things to happen in your life. Today would be a good day, Thursday. Well, it's about to be Friday, but Thursday is ruled by you and uh, Sagittarius you're ruled by Jupiter. So if you're looking for manifesting expansion or anything in your life, today would have been the day to do it. Um, you will be getting um, confirmation about your manifestations, something that you wanted to manifest. You will be getting um, communication about it. Okay. Something that you manifest. What else is going on with Pisces? Has a lot to do with resources, career, a home life, okay? Some of you guys have manifested, wanting to manifest a new home, but spirits like you have to have the courage to put in the work too. You can't just manifest it. You need to be actively going out there. Like you have to put it, the energy out there. So if you want to have a house, Pisces, right? 
Um, you have to actively start going to these open houses. You have to actively start making appointments to meet people and realtors and, you know, make sure your credit is good and you have a down payment on things um, in order to have your manifestations happen a lot faster. Because it's like spirits, like have the courage to start looking, okay? Some of you, you need to look into your emails, look into your spam folders because something you manifested is literally right there in your spam folders. For some of you, this has something to do with a job and you have to have the courage to sit there and start looking for something, actively looking for something, putting out a new resume, fixing your resume, auditions, if you have to, you know, do auditions for something. If you gotta, if you're, if you model, take new photos of yourself, there's something with you needing to, um, needing to like actively do something. For others of you, there's, there's a third party situation going on in the midst of your family life. You may be scared to look into it, but you need to have the courage to sit there and figure out what the hell is going on. For others of you, you have several options. You have like four options and it's time to eliminate one of these options from four to three. Okay. You had four. And now you have to have the courage to really sit there and look into these options that you have and eliminate one of them. Because one of the options that you have, they still have some healing to do and you don't need to be messing with them. Possibly could be an Aquarius, okay? Possibly could be a Leo. Possibly this person has Leo and Aquarius in their natal chart. Um, but others of you, you will be having a new beginning with an Aquarius, okay? Some of you, you will be having a new beginning with yourself and that's you healing okay some of you may have to have the courage to walk away from all of these options and just choose you and heal the relationship with you this way when you start healing yourself you get better options pisces okay for others of you i really feel like you are scared to learn how to manifest you are afraid to do candle magic and in spirits like what are you afraid of for others of you um you looking for something, but something is literally looking for you. And like I said, check your spam folders, check all your email addresses and accounts because you may think that something got sent to one email and you probably gave them the wrong email because you may have four emails and it's like you gave them the wrong one. Um, for others of you, um, you're going to become more vulnerable with a person. Some of you are going to get news, a DM, an email, a phone call. Hopefully you don't get the phone call of I'm coming to you as a man. I'm coming to you as a woman type of energy. But I do see it here. Okay. Some of you, once you find out what you find out about this third party situation, you're going to sit there and backtrack to... A relationship from your past with somebody and heal it and this is going to allow you to transform yeah after a period of pain lies deceit this person is going to be entertaining but i feel like too though i really feel like spirit wants you to focus on yourself entertain yourself because i feel like you're going to be blocked from the person that you're truly supposed to be with because it's like you still have work to do they still have work to do and it has a lot to do with you guys standing in your power and ending a lot of loose ends um to bring the stagnation between the two of you out of the way so that you guys can be happy together but it's like that doesn't happen until the work is done somebody has to do work so you have to do work, Pisces. But either way, that was your reading, guys. That was the 411 on you guys. And I will see you next time.